Hey there, it's Harrison with Actionable Insights here to talk about how does the Actionable Profile work. First off, I'm going to start a new project, the next one here. You're going to see I have a drop down box of what profile do I want to work in. In this one, we're going to choose the Actionable Profile here. In fact, I've got one preloaded and ready for us here. Waza, right? Dropped in a sketch for us, so we're in our Estimate Items tab already, and I can start estimating. What you're going to see on the right side is the inspection engine. This is the inspection drawer that essentially contains all of our live estimating guidance. You've heard us talk about, we want you to make less mistakes in your estimates. We want you to include the warranted line items into your scope. This drawer contains all of our guidance when you're writing your estimate. So let me show it off here. First off, you'll see uh, there's already a rule firing for labor minimums tab review, meaning I've started my estimate, but I've never looked at the labor minimums tab. So I, that's a good process rule to remember. I need to look at that and thoughtfully add or uncheck uh, labor minimums. But let's say I'm writing mitigation here and I type in WTR EQ, all right, set up equipment. And already you're gonna see on the right side, the rule engine is firing. It's found three potential alerts, actionable alerts that I may need to address. Things like, hey, you're starting to do mitigation work, it may be warranted to include floor protection on the scope. I have not included it in my scope thus far. I have not invoiced for any water dry out equipment. You've invoiced for setting up that equipment, but you haven't actually included any equipment. Don't forget the equipment or remove the setup time if you don't have any equipment. Zero quantity, hey, I've got a zero quantity line item here. I never put in any hours. So first off, let's say it's uh, two pieces of equipment times three days, two times three, boom. First off, if you notice on the right side, rule went away. Why? I addressed it. All right, now let's see another rule here. I may have looked at dry out equipment, okay? Uh, you're receiving this advisory because you've not invoiced for dry out equipment. If you need to add dry out equipment, here's some example line items. Let's go ahead and follow this prompt and add WTR DRY here. Watch on the right side, rule goes away, okay? So this is as brief an example of when you start to write a new estimate, here is how it looks when you write in the actionable profile. As you go, as you scope, there will be alerts that pop up in this inspection drawer on the right side that give you some guidance as to, hey, it's possible you made a mistake, or most importantly, it's possible that you missed something that you should add. So um, just to speed us up now to, you know, thir three hours later, beautiful scope, all right, what does the rule drawer, what does this inspection drawer look like when we are, you know, done with an estimate? Let's say I wanted to hit complete, for example. Um, you can see we have these rules organized in the room that they would apply to. For example, I have 17 alerts here to address in the entryway foyer room that I'm in. I can go through and start to uh, work on each one of these, right? Uh, bad insulation behind a replacement drywall. When replacing insulation behind drywall is often warranted to augment it with insulation, various line items, right? You may need insulation. We didn't see any. Um, you've got sink activities here, but no angle stop valves or supply lines. Please double check if that was performed as a part of the scope. Um, here's a good overage rule. You've got high grade wood flooring and standard average grade uh, end molding, reducer strips, or T molding. Typically, those grades match. So, um, and down here, things like, uh, you know, hey, uh, project supervision, you've got temporary toilets, you may need temporary hand washing stations, right? There are over uh, 1,700 rules <laughs> right now that could fire as you write. Categories ranging from uh, HVAC, plumbing, uh, WTR, HMR, TCR, contents, roofing, appliances, electrical, I think I already said cabinetry, siding, painting, drywall, paneling, wallpaper. I mean, we are, we are, writing live estimating guidance into these actionable alerts every day, every week we release new rules and alerts into this profile. So boom, you ask, how does it work? This is how it works. You open up an estimate, you start writing in the actionable profile and you use the inspection drawer to get to the right scope the first time, all right? <laughs> Thank you.